What I'm going to show you now is just a short video on how to use an Excel spreadsheet and Word documents to automate student feedback. If you have feedback sheets like this where you like to provide written feedback to students, it can be difficult to manage because what you end up if you have a lot of students is with folders with individual Word documents for each student that you have to manage and print out and if each student has more than one assignment you end up with hundreds and hundreds of Word documents which can be a little bit unwieldy when it comes to managing the information properly but at the same time it's great to give individual feedback sheets to the student like this so one way to manage it is to actually organize the information in an Excel spreadsheet and then have a Word document automatically created for each student feedback when you're finished. So just when it comes to printing you can create the Word documents but the actual information will be stored in an Excel spreadsheet like this. So what I've done is I've created an Excel spreadsheet with some students and I've got the student number, I've got their last name, the first name, the grade and some comments. And although we don't normally use Excel to type a lot of written text like this, you can fit quite a lot of information in here and if you select the cells that you're going to be typing a lot into and right click and click on format cells you can wrap the text so that it fits in nice and then you can type in whatever information you want you're not restricted to just a few lines if you want to give some in-depth feedback you can do it here um, so what we end up with is we end up with a list of four students with their name, their student number their grade and some comments and we want to create an individual feedback sheet for each of these students but you can imagine that it's possible to have hundreds and hundreds of students here and manage them all in one go make sure that we've given them all feedback make sure that we've given them all a grade we can even do a calculation of the average grade across the class we can do a lot of things with an excel spreadsheet that we can't do with individual word documents by themselves so it can be very useful to manage your information in a spreadsheet first before you actually print out the feedback sheets. So when you've created your student information and you're satisfied with it, you just save your Excel spreadsheet and close it because we're going to access it from our Word document here. What I've done is I've created a template feedback sheet so you can imagine you might have your university logo here, some more information or a better header at the top, but the core elements that you'd want to include would be the student name, the student number, the comments about the assignment and then the grade at the end. And I've just created a little table with spaces to put all of these in. And all I do is I go into mailings in Word 2007 and we're going to use the mail merge tool which was originally designed to automate letters where the same letter would be sent to a lot of different recipients. We're going to use it to manage our feedback sheets. And what we would do is we would select the recipients and the recipients are going to be our students so we're going to use the existing list of students that we have so we click on use existing list and I'm going to find my Excel spreadsheet that I was using which is just here and I'm going to open it okay now I know all of the columns and the information were in the first sheet so I just click OK and what happens is Word now knows that I had a number of fields of information that I was using for. and if I have a look here at insert merge field it has a student number because I, was a, I had a student number column it has the last name, the first name, the grade and the comments so it has all of these columns available to me and I can just place them in the document wherever I want so here where I have typed name I'm going to put a space and then I'm going to put the student's first name then a space and then their last name Then I'm going to put in student number I'm going to put the student number field and in comments down here I'm going to put the comments and then I'm going to put the grade here so that's telling the Word document that I want to create a separate feedback sheet for all of the information in my Excel spreadsheet and that's the way I want it to be arranged and this is like my skeleton or my template and if I want to actually create the, the feedback sheets now I can just preview the results 
and you'll see that I have Joe Bloggs and if I move to the next one I have Jim Adams and the grades are different I'll move to the next one 58 Jane Crow, Jeanette Davidson. So I can have as much feedback here as I want. I can structure my feedback sheet whatever way I like, but in terms of managing the information, I can manage it in an Excel spreadsheet and keep it organized and not have to worry about making hundreds and hundreds of documents. So when I'm satisfied that the feedback sheets are created, I can press finish and merge, and I can either send them to the printer, I can send email messages, so I could have an email field in my Excel spreadsheet and email the documents or I could edit individual documents so I'm going to press that for now and I want to make a document for all of my students so I press OK and what I get is a long Word document with one feedback sheet for each student which is great now I can just print it out and I can hand them to the students in the class what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to show how you can use some code to create a separate document for each student rather than this one long document and save automatically each document under the student's file, the student number and their name in the file name so that you can upload it to the virtual learning environment Blackboard and use it with the batch feedback tool. That's what I'm going to do in my next video. But for now, you know how to manage the information in the Excel spreadsheet and only create the feedback sheets when you're ready so that you don't actually have to manage them or keep them um, at all. You can just keep all your information in one Excel spreadsheet and it makes it a lot easier.